Now, we'll talk about file operation. File handling is a fundamental skill for working with data storage and retrieval. You'll learn how to read and write text files, manage files and directories, and use file streams for more advanced scenarios. So, let's talk about file reading. To read the file, we need file path first. Like here, I have example text file here. So, I copied path of this file and stored it inside this variable. Then I used if statement and use file.exists method to check whether file exists or not. Inside it, created a string type variable and initialized it with file.read all text method and passed file path variable to it. After it, I printed the content variable. Then I created else block to print error message in case file does not exist. Now run the program. Here the content of example text file. Now, let's talk about writing text. There are two ways to write text to a file. First method is to overwrite the current file which delete all existing content of the file and second method is to append the text which add text after existing content of the file. We'll see writing first. Here I have a string which I want to write in the file. Then I used file.writeAllText method and passed file path to it and then passed the content to write inside that file. Now run the program. The content we wanted to write in written successfully. We can also check it by opening the file. Now we'll see appending file. Here, I have a message to include in the file. Then I used the file.appendAllText method and passed file path and text to write in the file. Now run the program. Now open the file. Text is successfully added in the file. Now, let's talk about creating file and directories. We can also create directories and files. Like here, I have a path which I want to create. Next, I have file path which I want to create inside this directory. For that, I use path.combine method and pass directory path to it and then pass the file name which I want to create. Then I use the if statement and use directory.exists method to check if directory path exists. I also used exclamation mark to negate the condition. Inside it, I use directory.create directory method and pass directory path. This method will create directory. Then I used another if statement and used file.exists method to check if file exists and also negated the condition. Inside it, I used the file.writeAllText method and passed file path and content to be added. This write method will create file automatically if file does not exist. Now run this program. It shows the success message. Now go to project directory to see the new file. New directory is created here. Inside it, new example file is created and the text is also added inside this file. Now, let's talk about file streams. For more control over file handling, use file streams. File streams let you read or write data byte by byte, making them ideal for working with binary files or large datasets. Like here, I created using statement. Here, using statement is used with file streams to ensure proper resource management. File streams work with underlying system resources, such as file handles, and these resources need to be released when no longer needed. The using statement automatically handles this cleanup by calling the dispose method of the object when the block of code is exited, even if an exception occurs. First, we'll see write text to file. For that, I created the object of file stream and passed file path and file mode to it. Right now, I want to create or write file, so I'm using create mode. Inside it, I created byte array and initialized it with encoding.utf8.getBytes method and passed content to it which I want to write in file. Here, getBytes method will convert string into bytes. Then I used the write method from file stream object and passed byte array to it then passed 0 as inset and passed the data length as the count to it. Here, this 0 specifies the starting position in the data array from which writing begins and the count specifies the number of bytes to write from the data array. Now run the program. Success message is printed. Now open the file. Here is the content which we added using file stream. Now, we'll see reading from file using file stream. Here, I created using statement again and created object of file stream inside it. Then I passed file path to it and also, I have set the file mode to open as I want to read content from the file. Inside it, I created new byte array named buffer and initialized it with new byte array and passed it file stream.length. 
Then I used the read method of file stream and passed it buffer array 0 as inset and buffer length as count. Then I created string type content variable and initialized it in coding.utf8.getString method and passed buffer array to it. This getString method will convert bytes into string. And then I printed the content. Now run the program. Content of the file is printed here successfully which means read and write methods are working perfectly. That's all for this section.